hello in this video we will learn about frequency mixture so in this video we will see what is frequency mixture what is need of frequency mixture ideal versus practical mixture mathematics of a frequency mixture and example so let us start with what is frequency mixture so frequency mixture is nothing but a non linear circuit it generates new frequencies from applied to signals with different frequencies so frequency mixture generates new frequencies from where from the applied to signal and these two signals are having different frequencies so here is a symbol of a frequency mixture it contains two inputs and one output at the input two signals are applied with a different frequencies f1 and f2 in the output two frequencies are generated which is nothing but f1 minus f2 and f1 plus f2 this f1 minus f2 frequency and f1 plus f2 frequency these frequencies are not present in the input so as a result you can say that the mixture generates a new frequencies now this f1 minus f2 is called difference frequency and f1 plus f2 is called some frequency so ideal mixture generates two frequencies which is nothing but a difference frequency and a sum frequency and also ideal frequency mixture is nothing but just a multiplier which multiplies the two input signals and generates sum frequency and difference frequency in the output but if your mixture is a practical mixture then it contains other frequencies also in the output since mixer circuit is a non linear circuit so it is made up of electronic devices with non linear characteristics and these devices are diodes and transistors so mixer circuit is made up from diodes and transistors these devices are used so here we come to know that frequency mixture generates new frequencies so let us move to the next one which is why we need a frequency mixture so frequency mixture is used to shift the frequency of a signal from one range to other range so let us understand it now we already know that in a communication in the transmitter side modulator will accept a low frequency information signal and generate a high frequency carrier signal now we know that if we want to perform space communication then we have to increase the frequency from megahertz into the gigahertz now to increase the frequency from megahertz to gigahertz we have to use the device which is called up converter which will increase the frequency and this up converter is nothing but a frequency mixture similarly in the receiver side when we want to convert the frequency from gigahertz to megahertz that is if we want to perform the down conversion we have to use down converter and this down converter is nothing but the frequency mixture so here we can see that whether we want to move from high frequency to low frequency or from low frequency to high frequency we need a frequency mixture so that we can say that frequency mixture nothing but it shifts the frequency now we already know that ideal mixture takes two signals with frequency f1 and f2 and produces some frequency and 
different frequencies now here we can see that when we move from megahertz to gigahertz that is we move from lower frequency to higher frequency so that thing is called up conversion and at that time we have to select the sum frequency f1 plus f2 from the output of mixer via proper filtering now if we want to move from higher frequency to lower frequency then we that is called down conversion and at that time we have to select f1 minus f2 which is nothing but the difference frequency so here whether we want to shift the frequency from lower to higher that is called up conversion or we want to move from higher to lower which is called down conversion we have to use this mixture so we can say that since mixer is changing the frequency from one range to other that is from lower to higher or higher to lower so we can say that frequency mixture is nothing but is doing the task of frequency translation so frequency mixture performs frequency translation and to carry out this translation we need a frequency mixture so we come to know that to perform frequency translation we need a frequency mixture so now let us move to the ideal versus practical mixture so we know that ideal frequency mixer generates some frequency and difference frequency now depending on our choice whether we want some frequency or we want difference frequency we have to put a proper filter at the output of a filter so let us assume that we want the sum frequency in the output then we have to put a high pass filter at the output of mixture and as a result this high pass filter will select the sum frequency and will reject the difference frequency because difference frequency is lower than the sum frequency so as a result by putting a high pass filter we will get f1 plus f2 and f1 minus f2 is rejected similarly if we want f1 minus f2 in the output that is if we want the lower frequency in the output then we have to replace this high pass filter by a low pass filter so that you will get f1 minus f2 that is nothing but the difference frequency so here we have to use proper filter at the output of mixture so that we can get a particular frequency in the output now compared to ideal frequency mixture practical frequency mixture do produce other frequencies also means it is not like the case of ideal mixture ideal mixer generates only f1 plus f2 and f1 minus f2 but practical mixers do produce other frequency terms and these terms are defined by this equation so in the output you will get the frequency which is derived by this formula so in this formula you can see that this n f1 are nothing but the harmonics of frequency f1 m f2 are nothing but the harmonics of frequency f2 so you can say that in the output you may get harmonics and its combinations so we can say that in practical frequency mixture we will get many frequencies not only sum and difference frequency so that it is necessary to use a proper filter at the output of a frequency mixture so by putting a proper filter like a low pass filter high pass filter or band pass filter we can get the desired final output signal so here filtering is necessary after mixture circuit so here we learn that practical mixers do contain other frequencies other than sum and difference so let us go through the mathematics of a frequency mixture so let us start with the ideal frequency mixture in ideal frequency mixture 
two signals are applied at the input so let us assume that first signal is nothing but cos omega 1t second signal is nothing but cos omega 2t so here ideal mixture is nothing but the multiplier which will multiply the two input signal so here we can see that output of a mixture is nothing but cos omega 1t into cos omega 2t so output will be cos omega 1t into cos omega 2t but if we apply the trigonometric formula of 2 cos alpha beta which is nothing but cos alpha minus beta plus cos alpha plus beta so accordingly you will get the output is nothing but cos omega 1 minus omega 2t by 2 plus cos omega 1 plus omega 2t by 2 so here you can see that output of the filter contain two terms having the frequency omega 1 minus omega 2 that is difference frequency and other term contains omega 1 plus omega 2 that is some frequency so you can see that output of ideal frequency mixture is two frequency terms with some frequency and difference frequency so let us talk about the practical frequency mixture now practical frequency mixer circuit are represented by mathematically as two input signal are first get added and this signals are called v in so here v in of t is nothing but the summation of v1 t that is first input and summation of v2 t which is nothing but the second input so v in is addition of both the input then this v in t is applied to the non-linear device and as a result we get the output v out t so v out t is nothing but the output of a non-linear device and also output of a practical mixture now here the relation between v out and v in is given by this one so v out of t is nothing but the a times v in square plus b v in so here you can see that the relation between input and output is nothing but a non-linear now output signal contains many frequency due to this non-linearity square term output signal contains many frequencies so here you have to put a proper filtering to select a particular frequency so here you must have to use a proper filter and as a result you will get the final output of the desired frequency now here let us assume that the two inputs v1t and v2t are represented by v1t equals v1 sin omega 1t v2t is v2 sin omega 2t so here you can see that v in is nothing but the summation of both v1t and v2t so we can say that v in is v1t plus v2t so which is nothing but v in t equal to v1 sin omega 1t plus v2 sin omega 2t now this v in of t is applied at the input of non-linear device and as a result we get the output v out now the relation between v out and v in is represented by this equation which is v out equals a v in square plus b v in so now let us put this v in of t into this equation and let us find out the v out so here we can say that v out is a times v in square plus b times v in where a and b are nothing but constants so let us put this v in of t into this equation so here a into v in sin omega 1t plus v2 sin omega 2t whole square plus b into v in t which is nothing but the these two terms so b into v in t now let us first expand this square so this term is nothing but a plus b square so a plus b square we know it it is a square plus b square plus 2ab so here you can see that expansion is a square so this is v1 square sine square omega 1t which is nothing but a square now if it is b then it is b square which is v2 square sine square omega 2t plus 
2 times AB, which is 2 times V1 sin omega 1t into V2 sin omega 2t. Now, if we rearrange this third term of the expansion in this way, so here you can see that we get the 2 sin omega 1t into sin omega 2t, which looks like 2 sin alpha sin beta. So let us apply the trigonometric identity over here, which is 2 sin alpha beta, which is nothing but cos alpha minus beta minus cos alpha plus beta. So here you can see that this is transformed into v1 v2 as it is. So v1 v2 as it is cos alpha minus beta, which is cos omega 1 minus omega 2t minus once again v1 v2 as it is cos alpha plus beta, which is cos omega 1 plus omega 2t. Now here we can see that this square terms are present. So let us expand this further. So we know that sine square theta is nothing but 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So this sine square omega 1t becomes 1 minus cos 2 omega 1t by 2 and this sine square omega 2t becomes 1 minus cos 2 omega 2t by 2. Now let us open this bracket so that this a v1 square by 2 will be multiplied with both of this term and a v2 square by 2 will multiply with both of this term. So if we open this bracket we will get a v1 square by 2 minus a v1 square cos 2 omega 1 t as it is by 2. At this side we will get a v2 square by 2 over here minus a v2 square this cos 2 omega 2t by 2. So here you can see that the terms in a blue color are independent of time. So here we can see that these two terms are nothing but the constant term. So these are nothing but the DC term. So you can see that V out also contains DC in the output. So here we can see that your V out is nothing but represented by this equation. Now in this equation we can see that this equation contains DC terms as shown in blue color. A term with frequency 2 omega 1, a term with frequency 2 omega 2, a term with frequency omega 1 minus omega 2, a term with frequency omega 1 plus omega 2, a term with frequency omega 1 and the last term with frequency omega 2. So here you can see that the V out of the practical frequency mixture contains many frequencies and these frequencies are omega 1, omega 2, twice omega 1, twice omega 2, omega 1 minus omega 2 and omega 1 plus omega 2. So here you can see that your output contains not only sum and difference frequency but also original frequencies and also its second harmonic. So you can see that practical mixture output contains many frequencies. So here it is very important to use the filter so that you can get the desired frequency in the final output. So here let us assume that this filter is tuned to the frequency omega 1 plus omega 2. So here you can see that if your filter is tuned to omega 1 plus omega 2, so you can see that out of this all terms, this term minus a v1 v2 cos omega 1 plus omega 2 t. So this term contains omega 1 plus omega 2. So you will get only this term in the output. All other terms are getting rejected by this filter which is tuned at omega 1 plus omega 2. So output of the filter is only term minus a v1 v2 cos omega 1 plus omega 2 t. Similarly, if this filter is tuned to the frequency 2 omega 1, so you can see that out of the all terms, you will get a term which is containing frequency 2 omega 1. So here you can see that you will get the output only term minus a v1 square cos 2 omega 2t by 2. So here you can see that depend on filter where it is tuned, you will get particular term in the final output. So here asterisk indicate that it is very important that your filter is tuned to the which frequency. 
so here we have completed the mathematics of a frequency mixture now let us move to the example so this example says for the practical frequency mixture as shown in figure find out the final output if number 1 v1t is equals 10 cos 2000 pi t v2t is equals 4 sin 200 pi t v out is v in plus 0.1 v in square and pass band of the filter is 800 hertz to 1200 hertz with unity gain so here we can see that v1t is given v2t is also given the relation between v in and v out is also given here pass band of this filter is also given and finally we have to find out the final output so here we can see that to get this answer first of all we have to find out what is v out and to find out v out we have to use the relation between v in and v out which is given as a point number 3 now here v in is nothing but the summation of v1t and summation of v2t so here we can see that v in t is nothing but v1t plus v2t which is 10 cos 2000 pi t plus 4 sin 200 pi t so we have to put this value of v in t into the relation between v in t and v out so that we will get the equation of v out t so let us find out the v out t so we can say that v out is v in plus 0.1 v in square where v in is this much so let us put this v in over here so here v in is as it is plus 0.1 this v in square now here let us start with expansion of this square term so this term looks like a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab so here if first term is a so a square becomes 100 cos square 2000 pi t plus if second term is b so this is b square which is 16 sin square 200 pi t plus 2 times a into b so 2 times 10 cos 2000 pi t into 4 sin 200 pi t which is second term so here it is the expansion of the square term now here we can see that we are getting cos square and sin square so this cos square and sin square we can apply the trigonometric formula so cos square is nothing but 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 and sin square theta is nothing but 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 so here this cos square 2000 pi t becomes 1 plus cos 4000 pi t by 2 and this sin square 200 pi t becomes 1 minus cos 400 pi t by 2 now here we can see that this 10 by 2 becomes 5 and this 5 will be multiplied with this 2 term here also 1.6 is divided by 2 which is 0.8 and that will be multiplied with both of this term so here our equation becomes first term as it is 5 plus 5 cos 4000 pi t Plus point eight minus point eight 
cos 400 pi t plus third terms which is 2ab as it is now here we can see that this looks like 2 cos alpha sin beta so we can apply the trigonometric formula 2 cos alpha sin beta which is nothing but sin alpha plus beta minus sin alpha minus beta so here you can see that this 2 cos 2000 pi t into sin 200 pi t becomes sin summation which is 2000 plus 200 which is 2200 pi t minus sine difference which is 2000 minus 200 becomes 1800 so our third term will be converted into sine 2200 pi t minus sine 1800 pi t now here we can open this bracket and bring this 4 inside so 4 will be multiplied with both of this term now here uh, we can see that these terms are written as 2000 pi t but if we want to transform in into 2 pi ft term so this 2000 pi t becomes 2 into 1000 pi t 200 pi t becomes 2 into 100 pi t 4000 pi t becomes 2 into 2000 pi t similarly 2200 pi t becomes 2 into 1100 pi t and at last 1800 pi t becomes 2 into 900 pi t so here we can see that our v out contains this many terms now here we are given that the filter here used is having a pass band of 18 sorry 800 hertz to 12 100 hertz with unity gain so here we can see that the terms in the v out having the frequency within the range of 800 hertz to 1200 hertz will be able to pass through this filter all other terms having frequency less than 800 and frequency greater than 1200 hertz will get rejected so let us find out the terms having frequency within 800 to 1200 hertz range let us find out that terms in the v out so here the first term is containing a frequency which is 1000 so yes 1000 falls within the range of 800 to 1200 so the first term will get passed through the filter so in the final output you will get this first term now second term is having a frequency 100 hertz which is far lower than the 800 hertz so second term will not get passed through the filter similarly the third term is having a frequency 2000 hertz which is far greater than 1200 hertz so third term will get rejected by the filter fourth term here you can see that this term 200 hertz this term is having a frequency which is less than 800 hertz so this fourth term will not get passed through the filter now here we can see that the fifth term yes this one 1100 hertz so this 1100 hertz frequency falls within the band of 800 to 1200 hertz so a term with a frequency 1100 hertz will get passed through this filter and will be available as a final output so here you can see that this term will be passed through the filter and will be at the output now the last term here is having a frequency 900 megahertz sorry 900 hertz only so this term will also pass through the filter and will be available at the output so here you can see that the third term having frequency 900 megahertz which is between 800 to 1200 hertz will also get 
pass through this filter and as a result you will get that term in the output so here you can see that your final output contains only three terms who's having frequencies within 800 hertz to 1200 hertz so this is your final output now so here we have completed the example now let us summarize so we learn about the frequency mixture frequency mixture is nothing but a non-linear circuit and it generates new frequencies in the output so this one is the symbol of a mixture having two inputs and single output now here if our mixture is ideal then it contains only some and the difference frequency which is nothing but f1 plus f2 and f1 minus f2 but if it is practical then output also contains other frequencies so if it is practical mixture then it not only contains some and difference but also contain other frequencies and at the output of mixture you have to use a filter with the proper value to get the final output so let us take one example that let us consider our information low frequency information is modulated with a carrier of 200 megahertz and let us assume that we want to shift this megahertz frequency into gigahertz so we want to change the frequency of a carrier from 200 megahertz to some gigahertz so this one we can achieve with the help of a mixture and we want to change frequency from megahertz to gigahertz so we have to perform up conversion and we know from the theory that if we want to perform up conversion then we have to tune our filter to the frequency f1 plus f2 that is tune our filter to the frequency some frequency which is f1 plus f2 so here in this case apply your carrier signal with a frequency 200 megahertz to one of the input of the mixture apply another sinusoidal wave generated by local oscillator and having a frequency 900 megahertz to another input of the mixture tune your filter which is output of the mixture to the sum frequency which is f1 plus f2 as a result you will get output 200 megahertz plus 900 megahertz which is nothing but the 1100 megahertz which is equal to 1.1 gigahertz so you can see that your output of the mixture and filter will be a frequency shifted signal whose frequency is shifted to 1.1 gigahertz from initial frequency of 200 megahertz so you can see that via up conversion you can change the carrier frequency from megahertz to gigahertz so here you can see that the shape of this envelope remains same but your this carrier frequency shifts from 200 megahertz to 100 1.1 gigahertz and here is your output signal will look like which contain the carrier of a frequency 1.1 gigahertz.